and in today's video, I'll discuss the differences between 99designs and Design Crowd. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their modes of hiring a designer. 99designs and Design Crowd's mechanism of connecting clients to designers vary significantly. Whereas 99design offers one on one projects to design artists, Design Crowd delves into commissioning design contests, where interested designers submit their design samples based on the descriptions offered by a client for the client to choose the design they like best. Therefore, Design Crowd offers a more diverse hiring mechanism, where the client is privileged to choose the best design fitting their description. Design Pricing As much as both design platforms charge their services, depending on the project category, their price quotas vary significantly. For instance, 99designs offers four plans for logo design contests. These include bronze, silver, gold, and platinum, costing $299, $499, $799, and $1,299 respectively. Each category encompasses its own design concept limits, with a maximum of about 60 design concepts for the highest charging category. The categories also consist of unique features with the only characteristics cutting across all categories being copyright ownership and guaranteed refunds. On the other hand, Design Crowds consists of five pricing categories for the same service. Its low-cost two categories cost about $109 and $219, limited to one designer with three designs and three designers with six designs respectively. The remaining categories cater for an unlimited number of designers, with a minimum of 50, 100, and 150 designs each, at about $299, $479, and $719 respectively. Note that these prices are current and are subject to change in the future. Therefore, Design Crowd's pricing categories are cost-effective, considering the number of designs per unit cost. Design Briefing Before the design contests commence, clients brief the designer on the specifics of the anticipated logo. Design Crowd provides a standard, one-page textual briefing where customers describe their design expectations. On the other hand, 99design goes a notch higher to include other entities' logos to give designers more details for the design. Therefore, 99designs offers more content for the designers to utilize during the working phase. But do they have any similarities? One of the most obvious similarities between Design Crowds and 99designs is their guaranteed copyright ownership of the design after the final payment. More so, both design platforms have effective feedback mechanisms, facilitating interaction between designers and their clients. To sum up, which is better, 99designs or Design Crowd? I found 99designs to be a good option when design description is at stake to equip the designers with sufficient knowledge for the project. However, Design Crowds is a much better option in terms of pricing and hiring mechanisms. I choose Design Crowds as the better option because of its affordable service per unit cost and reliable hiring mechanisms. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.